hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum! The moon landing didn't happen. Oh sorry, I farted. What? Housework is hard. You know, things like mopping because it hurts my back. Doing the dishes is hard. This makes me so happy. So we are currently at Myers. I'm gonna grab me a cart moment. 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 Oh shit, these are stuck. Welcome back, Gauls. How you doing? It will not be an Amberlynn shopping vlog without a goal touching every single thing she sees. The only reason this shot exists, it's to use it for the thumbnail. I just don't get the journal obsession, every time she buys one hundreds of them, then she gives them away. After that, she buys new ones, what the hell is going on? So, on the way home, we decided to take a little detour. We're about to get a car wash. So, she's getting the $15 one, which is like top tier. So, I'm excited. We have a little Max Air Dry, okay. And an undercarriage wash, okay. Extreme Shine Wax, okay. Lola love how excited she is for the car shower. We are entering the tunnel. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> oh my god, that's the sunroof, y'all. Why are we shaking like a tornado? Amberlynn is the only one who doesn't understand how stupid it is to say something, then say inside joke. Gaul no one cares, you don't need to add that. If we are not in with the joke, then keep it to yourself. Okay you guys, so I'm having a little night snack. I have some comfy clothes on. It says nope, love that. So I'm about to try a Brie spreadable cheese wedge. Little nervous, not gonna lie. No Gaul shut up and eat the damn cheese. I'm gonna try it with one of these organic garlic naan crackers. So it's a little taste test moment. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Wait a minute. Wow. That was so good. Wow, what a shocker. Who expected her to like these? Love me an olive moment. My girlfriend doesn't eat these, so I just like <laughs> eat them out of the jar. Mm. Then, it seems like Amberlynn has a new addiction. Let's see goals. I just did a scratch off. I did a couple of them. Um, I won $2 on this one, $3 on this one, and I won 45 on this one. So I spent $10 for this one. Okay, wait, the lighting makes my hands look so dark. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, baby, can you come here real quick? Goal, your hands have been like that for years. Even Amy Slayton did a parody on you with eyeshadow on her knuckles. Because <laughs> people have been saying how like dirty my hands are. People are not saying they are dirty, they are saying dark knuckles are signs of obesity or maybe a disease or something. Then, she tries and forces YP to tell her that they are not that dark in real life lol. It's literally the lighting because my hands does not look like this in person. Do my hands look like that in person or... This here? No. They don't look that dark in person? No. Like at all? This here? Uh, I don't really think they look that dark on video. They look darker than in real life, but not that dark. So they don't look like this in person? No. Okay. Gaul they look normal, that's how they always look in the videos. Also, why is she so concerned about this? You have another 99 problems that you should focus on. The tr I hear this a lot from people that are bigger. They can't express themselves with their own raw, true style like they would if they were smaller. And I complete- This is totally true. 100% true. I have seen a lot of overweight people wear cute and fashionable clothing, but a girl is obese so. This is true. She could lose 300 pounds and wear whatever she wants. You know, I, I do have some cute clothing, but it's like I can't express myself in the way that I want. Of course, I could probably find clothing like that that I would wear if I was skinny, but it's like it wouldn't look good on me. I would not feel comfortable in it. Yes, that's true. It's all about how you make it work. Amberlynn doesn't have good taste, and I don't think it would change if she was smaller. ...an expensive scale. So because I'm so much bigger, I can't just go into Walmart or like TJ Maxx and be like, okay, I need to buy me a scale. No. This is a true fact, because uh, even just recently, I, I forgot where I was, but I happened to just like pass the scales. And I was like, I wonder if they have scales that like I could like stand on and would work. And no, like every scale at stores like only go up to like 300 pounds or so, which is a little frustrating because, you know, this is the USA. We are a fat country and... No goal what? It's wild how she is demanding scales that measure up to 600 pounds be available regularly. Also, she said the scales only goes up to 300, as if that's low low. As sad as it is, 
realistically, there are people my size in this country who need to be able to weigh themselves because it's like, to start a weight loss journey, nine times out of 10, you want to start in weight. I don't know. I find it really weird that like scales are not accommodating to people my size, where it's like people my size need a scale because we need to lose the weight. We need to keep track of that progress. So I do think it's kind of ironic. It's all about supply and demand goal. If the markets knew it would be useful to have scales that go up to 600 pounds, they would have it. Also, she is making it seem like she can't buy scales. She can buy it online. They are available, which makes this whole rant stupid and ignorant. Most of those only go up to like... 260 pounds some of them go up to like three something that's pathetic like that is so pathetic the scale that i have now is over 300 dollars i did wait until it went on sale so i did buy it for around 160 that's freaking ridiculous i'm currently using yeah that's true um the scale that i use now is an industrial scale um, I used to have a talking scale, which was around like $80. I'm thinking about getting that talking scale again because I know you guys liked it. And plus it's like easy, easier. So it's like you guys can hear my weight and stuff like that. Yeah, I just don't understand why the scales that accommodate people my size are more expensive. I, I don't get it. Really, Gore? You don't know why an industrial scale is more expensive. You don't know why a scale that goes up to 700 pounds costs more than one that goes up to 300. Everything from clothing to scales will cost more because it need more shit to operate, Gore. Also, she said the talking scale was $80, and that's not a bad price, so why are we complaining again? No, that's, that's horrible. Like, I shouldn't be at the size. I shouldn't have to buy a scale that's that expensive. Like, I should be able to go into any store and just buy a scale. Literally, being bigger is more expensive. So, number six. That's very true. I love how 2019 Amberlynn is more aware than 2022 ALR. In 2019, she is saying that it is horrible how she has to use scales that measure car parts and how she needs to change and lose weight so that she can use normal scales. In 2022, she wants scales that measure up to 600 pounds be available at every store lol. Clothing is more expensive. Like, Torrid is so expensive, which makes sense because, like, you're using more material for said item. So, like, if there was a small t-shirt and then, like, a 5X t-shirt... It makes sense that the 5X is a little bit more expensive because it's like more material that you're using and it takes more time to make the clothing, which I totally understand, but it's definitely true. Being bigger is more expensive. Thank you. Finally, we hear some logical sentences. You guys remember when I hauled, I got two cow print overalls, black and white, and then I also got a, like a light pink one. So I'm really trying to be nice and not make a joke about her wearing a cow outfit, lol. Is we're going to be going to like a homeless shelter because we have a ton of snacks we want to give um unopened snacks and not open anything two big bags so i'm super happy there's chips there's kind bars um goldfish oh my god that sounds so good lola gold is salivating over the snacks for the homeless okay guys so it's that time before grocery shopping i like to take everything out of the freezer everything out of the fridge organize it clean it wipe it all down um so that was before and then this was after i figured i would show you guys the before and after um, I do go grocery shopping actually after this, which I take you guys along with me. So keep watching. Um, but this was before I took it all out and organized it. And then this was after. So I really like doing this like one time a week, always before I go grocery shopping. So then when I come home, it's a lot easier and cleaner to put my groceries away. Her fridge is freaking full. They are only two people. I'm amazed at how much shit she already has. And she will go grocery shopping and get even more stuff. What we do here is go back, 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 back.